All right, guys, so welcome back to Get Your Life Together Financially. If you've been following the videos, this is step six in the process. The earlier videos, we talked about uh, assessing your financial health, and that's basically understanding what's coming in and out of your accounts, uh, what you're spending money on. Are you sp spending it on wants or are you spending it on needs? Where you could actually, you know, kind of trim the fat in certain areas that you were spending items on once um, so that you could start saving more money. You know, we talked about things that you needed to do, like establishing a emergency fund. And I know that some of you have gotten to the point to where you've trimmed everything that you can trim. So now you need other ways of learning how to bring in some more income. So I told you I was going to talk to you about um, some things that you can do. I have a free ebook. Uh, if you go in the link in the bio, it's basically, it says 55 ways to make money from your couch. There are actually about 67 uh, ways in there. Some of them, um, I separated them because you got 55 that you can do from your house. And then we have some additional ones that if you got a car, you can go out and do those. So I wanted to talk with you about a couple of the items that's in this ebook. And the ebook is free. Just go into my link in my bio and you can download the ebook and you can see all 67 of the items that I have in here. But I wanted to talk with you about some of the things that I actually do. I do a lot of uh, things with Amazon. So I do have an Amazon store. I sell products on Amazon. When I first started out, I was doing items from the clearance aisle and I'll still do those occasionally, you know, so like right now, if you wanted to start selling, you know, things on Amazon and you wanted to get things in your inventory, you can go look on the clearance aisle because there are things uh, from Halloween, you know, that are actually out there. Some of them you might not be able to utilize until, you know, the following year, um, such as um, Halloween costumes. They are like $29, $30, $40 initially. But if you go to Walmart now, those things are cut in half. And the longer you wait, if there's still items out there, they'll get up to 75% off. But for me, I started selling things on the clearance aisle and then I progressed to the point of where I have private label uh, products. So my own product, things that I actually created myself. I have about eight of those uh, products. Um, I have trademark uh, brands on my product so nobody else can sell it unless I allow you to actually sell it. But I went through that process. I started back in 2017. And with those products alone, I pull in about an extra 50K a year on those eight products. And like I said, occasionally if I am in a Walmart or if I am in a store and they have a clearance aisle, I'll look at the clearance aisle just to see what's over there because you never know, you may come across something that you can sell and make, uh, you know, some quick money on. So that's one thing being an Amazon seller. The other thing that I do on Amazon is I create t-shirts. So Amazon has a merch by Amazon website. Uh, this actual t-shirt I created on there. It says passive income, uh, living that passive income life one idea at a time. That's my tagline that I have for my um, YouTube channel. But I have created um, probably like 50 different shirts that I have on there. And it was really just me trying to try out the site to see how it does. I make a couple of hundred dollars on it uh, each month. But I have not put anything else on there in a couple of years. But I still have money coming in uh, from Amazon. The other thing that I do on Amazon is books. I actually have 50 plus books that I have written or created. And I say written versus created because some of them, they are books like I have children's mystery books. Um, I have a gratitude journal. I have books that are joke books, things like that. But then I say created because I have books like, like this. And I didn't put my name on this book, but this is a Sudoku book and it's a hard skill level. I have three different levels. I have easy, I have hard and I have challenging, but basically it's just Sudokus in there. And then I have the answer key at the back of the book. Um, I also created a regular old notebook, you know, nothing special about it, but it has something that it says, you mad because I'm blessed 
take it up with God. I actually have t-shirts that I sell like this. And I actually have a trademark on this phrase because I knew I was going to put it on different things. But this is just a regular notebook. Um, you probably can't see too well on there, but all it is is just a college rule notebook. You can make college rule, wide rule, basic notebooks. And you can use this same inside and just keep creating the covers. You can make hundreds of books this way. Um, the other thing that I have on there is I have adult coloring books. This one I did put my name on. I have three different uh, adult coloring books and I basically just have designs. Now this one, it came up, it says cancer sucks. Um, I am a 16 year breast cancer survivor. So I have certain things in there about, you know, this sucks, that sucks. Uh, this one says I can't adult today. But it's basically all types of designs that I created to put in there. And with these drawings, I didn't have to draw these myself. You could go to Fiverr, uh, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, and you can get someone to create designs for you. You can pay them a couple of bucks and then create a book. I've sold um, thousands of dollars worth of this particular book alone. And like I said, I have three different uh coloring books um this was the latest one that i did and this one is a mandela type book you know so all of the designs are different type of mandela designs uh in the inside which it says mandela magic uh you can see my name on the side um and then right now a book that's uh starting back selling is a christmas book and this is just the activity book for kids you know, you'll see on the front, it just says the big Christmas puzzle coloring book, ages four to eight. So I designed the cover and then I decided what types of things I wanted to put inside. And there's matching games, there's uh, crossword puzzles, there's dot to dots. So it's things like that that you can do on Amazon. Those are three different ones and you don't have to be... Uh, a person who knows how to do all of the designing. Like I said, I use someone on Fiverr. From the books alone, um, I have 50 plus books. I make about a thousand a month, but I don't have to do anything else on this. That is true passive income. Once you create it, that's it. You don't have to do anything else. The next thing that I'll talk about, and I mentioned this on another video, is if you're a person who has a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, a lot of purses, and you're not going to use those anymore, sell them. You can sell them on eBay. You can sell them on Macari. You can sell them on Poshmark. There's so many different sites. Um, and some of them, you might make more money on them than what you paid for them, depending on how you bought them and depending on how much of a need that particular item is. But why not sell them if you're not going to use them anymore? So that's another thing. Another thing that you can do is, and I'm just trying to pick out different things just, um, just to enlighten you on it because I know people think you have to have certain skills to be able to make, you know, extra money and you don't, you know, you just have to choose something that you're willing to do and put the time into. I talked about this on another video and it's usertesting.com. It's a site. You don't need any special skills. You got to sign up for it, but you basically test websites and apps for companies, you know, and they'll ask you questions. You'll have to record your voice. Sometimes they want you to record, you know, your face if they're interviewing you uh, about their product. It's not like an interview for a job, but you can make up to $60 an hour on that site. I did that. I tested it out one month and I made about $300. I have a video on my YouTube site where you can check that out. But my goal is, I just want you to understand that there are a lot of opportunities and things that you can be doing to bring in some extra money if you're in a position where you can't cut any more costs and you have to have more money to pay off your debt. This is a way that you can do it. Get this free ebook, go into my bio, download it, and start seeing where you can make some extra money today. I hope this helped you out. Uh, tune in for the next video. Thank you for joining.